It is day four and I am leaving Fruitvale and my OK Hotel. Columbia Gardens it's called. I have no idea why. Fort Shepherd, the Hudson's Bay uh, trading post. That was pretty easy. No lineup. <laughs> Just one guy. So this is Northport. The Kootenay Steamship Company paddle wheelers provided service from Little Dales, Oregon to Revelstoke, BC. After the Spokane Falls and Northern Railway reached Northport in 1892, the riverboats ran from Northport to Revelstoke. Northport became an international port of entry in 1895. So this little place does sourdough bread and pastries and sandwiches, very good sandwiches. And it used to be the customs house apparently, way back in the day. This is Marcus. Marcus was a supply and transportation base for northbound travelers during the Big Bend Gold Rush. In 1865, the steamboat 49 was built at Marcus to attempt to run to the gold rush boomtown of La Porte at the foot of the infamous Dalles de Mort, or Death Rapids, which were located in the immediate vicinity of the rush and were the upper barrier to the river navigation. They were located just below the modern Revelstoke Dam. Regular service from Marcus to La Porte began in 1866. The 265 miles to La Porte took 10 days. The original town site was submerged beneath the waters of Franklin D. Roosevelt Lake when Grand Coulee Dam was built. Modern Marcus has a population of 183. Hard to believe, but I'm getting very low on fuel. So I stopped and talked to a guy and he said, ah, the closest is take the Gifford Ferry across. looking back the way I came down north and that's the way I'm going towards Grand Coulee if you're ready I'll be letting you guys off too. yeah okay That was a bit nerve-wracking, but I finally got gas. And now I'm headed for Silver Creek Road up over the hill. The road just went to gravel with no warning at all. <laughs> I have to say I'm surprised at how remote this territory is below the border. Like it's just sparsely populated, very few services, um, you know, lots of campgrounds, but no restaurants or 
very few towns. Gas is far apart. Yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. It has been like an hour since I've seen anybody. <laughs> this is a great road. Thirty-five bucks. Don't think I'll be doing this. Burn through here. The fire's gone through here, and it's even burned out the supports for the guardrails. Just flattened everything. Just all of a sudden the forest ends. This is Cooley City. The Grand Cooley Dam is a concrete gravity dam constructed between 1933 and 1942. Power from the dam fueled the growing industries of the Northwest United States during World War II. The dam's primary goal, irrigation, was postponed as wartime electricity needs increased. Its electricity powered aluminum smelters in Longview and Vancouver, Washington, Boeing factories in Seattle and Vancouver, and Portland's shipyards. In 1943, its electricity was also used for plutonium production at the Hanford site. For irrigation, water is pumped via 12-foot diameter pipes 280 feet from Lake Roosevelt to a 1.6-mile feeder canal, then to Banks Lake. This water irrigates 670,000 acres, allowing over 60 different crops to be grown, which are distributed throughout the United States. Creation of the reservoir, called Franklin Delano Roosevelt Lake, forced the relocation of over 3,000 people. The dam was constructed without fish passages, as was Chief Joseph Dam below it, removing over 1,100 miles of natural spawning habitat. Well, I topped off with fuel and met a biker who had just bought a six-pack IPA and couldn't drink them all, so he gave me two. Now I need to find a restaurant with Wi-Fi and see if I can get this airlo sorted out because I got no data. I was able to sort out my eSIM and I've got data again, which is uh, quite important.
pretty exposed and it rained last night, but it was pretty good. There's a lot of wildlife here. I love these big hunks of rock. I'm sure there's a geological name for them, but I have no idea what it is. Granite Rapids is this area of the river. Hmm. Gate up here. Ross Motor Vehicles. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. Magnificent view looking back up the river. Back at this little switchback I did. There's been a couple of other roads marked on Gaia, but uh, nothing that you'd want to trust to get you, get you anywhere. Go the turkey vultures into yuck. I got back to the highway. Did quite a bit of backtracking. Rapids Dam. An over 
over here is the Hansford Nuclear Site. Hanford Site is a decommissioned nuclear production complex. Weirdly, it is the second site on the river, after Trail BC, connected to America's efforts to build a nuclear bomb. The B reactor was the first full-scale plutonium production reactor in the world, and plutonium manufactured on-site was used in the first atomic bomb tested in the Trinity nuclear test, and in Fat Boy, which was dropped on Nagasaki. Many early safety procedures and waste disposal practices were inadequate, resulting in significant amounts of radioactive material leaching into the air and the Columbia River. The downwind area has higher rates of cancer than the national average. A health survey between 1994 and 95, collected from 801 downwinders, revealed high incidence of all cancers, greater than expected numbers of central nervous system tumors, and cancers of the female reproductive system. The Hanford site became the focus of the nation's largest environmental cleanup, still ongoing in 2023, with over 10,000 workers. Now she's westbound, oceanbound. There is a dam just upriver from here with a set of locks on it, apparently. McNary Dam is a 1.4 mile long concrete gravity run of river dam completed in 1954 with a capacity of 980 megawatts. It has an 86 foot wide, 683 foot long navigation lock on the Washington side that lifts boats 75 feet. And this is the county park down here. Well, this is interesting. It's basically a gravel parking lot with a bunch of RVs in it. It seems to be free. 